Hey, my name is Steve Toth of SEO Notebook. This is where I email my best tips every Tuesday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern to over 15,000 subscribers now. So if you like the tip from this note, be sure to go to seonotebook.com and subscribe. And don't forget my YouTube channel while you're at it. So today's note is going to feature a sheet that is going to help you analyze how many money pages versus info content your website has or or your competitor has. So to do this, you're gonna just need to make a copy like I just did of the master sheet, and you're gonna need to find somebody's sitemap. So I have a sitemap here, you can Google that, you can generally put sitemap.xml after their domain to find these. And once I've done that, I'm going to use a custom bookmarklet that I created. In case you don't know how to create a bookmarklet, you can just create a bookmark and then paste the JavaScript into the URL field. So once you've done that, all you need to do is just click that bookmarklet. Now it has copied all the URLs that end in .xml, which is so cool. And then from here, I just go to this first tab, paste in those URLs, and you'll see, see this, the magic start to happen here. We're gonna get all the URLs from the sitemap pulled into column A, deduplicated, and now it's gonna start pulling in the title tags into column B. And as it does that, it's evaluating whether or not those title tags have the word top or best in them. And you can see the count start to generate in real time as these title tags begin to be loaded. So in just a second, we'll be able to get all these title tags for this whole website and quickly analyze how many money pages they have versus their info content. So for the purpose of this sheet, anything below 40% money page um, is going to be a pass. And if it's above that, it's going to be a fail. Now, there are plenty of exceptions to this rule, but from what I have seen and what other people have anecdotally told me is that Generally, we want to stay below 40% um, money pages. And if we look at some of the historical performance of sites that have added extra info content after being penalized, we also see recoveries happening when these ratios are balanced. So it's not a 100% rule, but what I suggest you do is go to your niche, put your competitors through the sheet, see where they're at, and possibly try to be within those ranges. So that's the tip for today. It's super simple. The sheet took, some, took a while to create, but um, now you have a quick and easy and you know just very, very quick and dirty way to check this ratio and basically get a sense of how much content you should create that's a money page and an informational page. So I'm Steve Toth from SEO Notebook. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list and my YouTube channel. All right, take care and see you next time.